Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I have something a little bit different for you guys, a super simple process, but I wanted to tell you about uh, something that's going on over at Dayspring. So they are doing a, a card envelope decorating contest on their Pinterest, and so they're encouraging people to decorate their envelopes for their holiday cards this year and uh, post them to Pinterest, and then you have the opportunity to, rent, to win a year's worth of free cards from Dayspring, which I think is awesome. So they did go ahead and send me this set of 50 Christmas cards. I've gotten Christmas cards from them before. Um, I'm sure a lot of us have gotten Dayspring Christmas cards. Um, a lot of us, when we think Dayspring, we just think greeting cards. That's kind of what they're known for. So um, they did send these to me, but I kind of came up with the envelope on my own. I wanted to just share this with you guys in case you wanted a chance at winning a year's worth of cards. So um, they have three different categories that you can create a card for. You can either do simple elegance, um, mixed media, or inspired by the card. And then they have all of the information about how to post to Pinterest and, and how to enter and all that goodness. I'll link the information down below for you guys so you can check that out. But I wanted to show you an example of how I decorated my envelope kind of inspired by these cards. So this uh, set of cards says, Jesus is the gift that perfectly fits the size of every heart. And I specifically chose these because this is something my family has been working towards the last like three years or so is getting away from the gift part of Christmas and just really focus on Jesus and spending time with our family and that kind of stuff and not so much all of the gift exchanges and all that craziness. So this really kind of went along with that that we are doing. And so I have a really simple technique for decorating these envelopes. And so I just wanted to show you really quickly how to do that. Um, th and this is a fun way to add some things to the outside of the card um, that maybe, you know, just think of how many hands touch your cards on the way to your loved ones during the holidays. Um, and so you could even include um, Bible scripture or something like that on your envelopes and you never know how that's going to touch somebody um, while your card is traveling to your loved ones. So I pulled out several stamp sets from Illustrative Faith. Um, these three here are no longer available. These are past Christmas um, stamp sets from their um, older Christmas lines and from their devotional kits. So these are no longer available. Um, but this Advent one is still available, so I will link that down below. And I am using primarily pieces from the Advent set. I'm using this bigger holly piece um, from the Tis the Season set. Um, but you could get away with doing this technique just with the Advent stamp set. And so I am going to be stamping with Neo Color 2 crayons on the envelope. Now these are pretty thin envelopes, so you just wanna be careful. If you're gonna go crazy with watercolor, and things like that. You may want to prep this with like watercolor ground or make your own envelopes out of mixed media paper, but I'm going to keep it simple because I don't know about you, but holidays are super crazy and stressful for me. And so I want to keep things simple, simple. So we're not going to go too crazy. Um, and so all I have here is this is actually the lid to a candle. I'm sure a lot of us have candles around our house right now with the holidays. Um, and so I'm just going to use this to trace a wreath shape, so a circle, kind of give myself a guideline for my stamping. Now you can see, you can still see my pencil. If you wanted to be really picky, you could go in there and erase that, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to leave it be. And so I have here a little jar of water and then I have all these um, different stamps. And to make this go quicker, I'm actually going to load these stamps up on um, different blocks. Be careful, don't get stuff all over your envelope like I am here. <laughs> so I'm going to load these all up on different blocks. I'll do these ones first and then there we go. We'll set these two aside. So I like to start with the bigger images first and then work in with the filler pieces. So I'm going to start with this bigger um, holly berry. And I just have three colors of crayons here. I have emerald green, scarlet, and dark green. So I'm going to start with that uh, scarlet color. I'm just going to barely dip the tip of my crayon in the water and then just color that onto my stamp and then I'm going to go in with emerald green. This is the brighter green and I'm trying not to get too much water on my crayon because it can get a little bit messy and muddy. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and I'm going to work kind of on the outside of 
that pencil line that I drew. And now I'm not pushing down. I'm just barely letting the stamp touch the paper and I'm letting that liquid kind of soak into the fibers of the paper and then pulling up. And you can see I had a little bit of muddiness, but that's okay. I can blot that up really quick and clean that up no problem. That gets all the excess um, moisture off of there. So I'm just gonna go in and stamp all of these little pieces and fill in this wreath. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you on fast forward and I'm just gonna go to town stamping away, super simple. So once that's all done, we can go in and I like to use a T ruler for my lines just to make sure that they are straight. And I mean, you could be really picky about trying to make sure that you're right in the center, but I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm just going to go in and draw myself some lines so I can write out my address. Make sure that I'm straight just like that. So then I can go ahead and fill it out and then I will probably put my return address on the back of the envelope here and then just let that be the statement piece in the front. And then if you wanted to use one of these like light of the world, joy to the world, oh holy night, one of those pieces maybe to just like decorate the back tab or add you know something like that so that you have a little bit of Jesus on the front of your uh, envelope you could definitely do that but I'm just going to leave mine fairly simple there and you can see it is um, inspired by the red and green and the greenery on the cards. So really, really simple. And I can't wait to see what you guys do. If you create, um, an envelope for this challenge, be sure to tag me at Lindsay Decor so that I can see what you're doing. I'm super inspired by you guys. And I will link all the information down below about this, um, contest that Dayspring is doing. And so check that out. Leave me any questions or comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.